Virgo, welcome back to Joy and Nose. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal, the information is below. If you would like to join members, just go on the page and click join. I seem to have lost the page. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we'll jump into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Virgo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 1.34 p.m. and today is October October 18th of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. Just give me one quick second. Not intermission music. Courtesy of <laughs> the people outside. Here we go. Okay. Cut the music. No. <laughs> um, okay, so first things first. You got to watch the Aries reading from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Something's coming. I feel like that's going to initiate your reading. Um, also, in three days on the 21st, I feel like that's going to be a very important day. High Priestess here. You have aces, all aces. I'm hearing aces in your face on the 21st. So um, I feel like something's materializing for you. I'm also seeing you guys could be watching like mafia movies or something like that. We're going to be using the Godfather tarot deck, but I'm seeing like a whole group of men standing at the ocean looking at the horizon. I feel like somebody just passed away, like an elder in the family or maybe somebody who kind of I'm hearing curated or got everyone together, brought everyone together. And I feel like this person had yeah, a heartbreak here. I feel like this person had one last wish. And I'm seeing somebody ride off into a boat and drop something into the ocean for them. I'm not sure what it is, you know. It could be like a confession. It could be, you know, just something they needed to make peace with. Maybe they don't even know. Like the guys don't even know what it is. They just know they had a duty to fulfill. So I don't know. I That could symbolize something. The drilling even makes me think of like drilling a box with this person's items in it, whatever they ask to be put in it, and then going on the boat, taking it, anchoring it, and then dropping it in there. This could definitely be something that you're watching. Um, a couple other readings I'll link below. There's a Capricorn reading called Presidential um, and Prestigious. And then the Virgo reading, one shot, do not miss your chance to blow, okay? Those two. Some of you could be from France or traveling to France. You could be a pharmacist as well. I was also hearing you've been vicious since your villain era began. I'm seeing Stitch when he's in the dog pound and all the other dogs are like shaking and he has all his arms out and he's just crawling around being crazy, higher fun here. I'm hearing um, non-negotiable, also hearing like no bs so i feel like you've been very about your business okay heavy capricorn energy though aries and capricorn the magician and contracts anything else okay so in the last there's one more thing in the last reading i just did for sag I saw a documentary about Lincoln earlier and it reminded me of these dreams that I had in the theater. Like I had these two very specific dreams and I told them if it comes up again, I'll mention it, right? It just came up again. So I'm gonna go ahead and find them and mention them. So the first one I only mentioned because um, on the channel message for Sagittarius, I had a dream on that day. So in this dream, I was like sitting in this theater it's like one of those like red theaters, you know? And I guess I was like, you could call this person or he symbolized my twin, right? But he was just like staring at me and I was confused as to why he was staring at me. So I had a dream, I'm in the back of the theater. Um, there's an event for a Virgo taking place. This is a Virgo reading. Um, and yeah, so this person was staring at me. So I was like, okay, well, let me go change then. <laughs> So I left to go change. I called my roommate at the time and I was like, hey, like you got some nail polish, this color, like, can you help me pick out an outfit? I got to hurry up and get back, you know, um, to this place. 
And then when I came back, I just remember I had a deck with me. I had my small deck with me, okay? So I'm not sure what that's about. Take it how it resonates. And then the other one that I had, let me see. I don't know, I'm just gonna mention like this dream, this one was real long because this took place on the last day of the year. Well, December 30th of 2022, so the day before the last day. So we were moving into, you know, the 2023 energy. So my dreams were going crazy, but I woke up and wrote this at 15 o'clock on the dot, right? So heavy Capricorn energy there. I'll only mention what I think is symbolic um, but I was with my cousin, whose name is Amir, which in Moorish, like, it means, um, let me see, I'll give you the exact terminology, just in case it is symbolic. Which is weird, you know, because I left two decks in Florida, and one was my Moorish deck. And I haven't gotten a replacement, so, hmm. Oh, okay, it means prince or royal, okay? So I'm with my cousin, we're walking around, and <laughs> we come across, I'll just spare you guys the details, but we come across this woman like in, the tr in, in this truck with some guy, and I feel like she wasn't all the way there but her house door was open. So we walked in her house and she had all these kids, but she had this one baby that was like sliding off the bed and I caught the baby real quick. And I was like, we gotta take this baby. And then me and my cousin, we left and then it switched, right? So that was the end of that part. Then I was in this theater with my friend Isaac, he's an Aquarius. And there was like a whole bunch of stuff going on. I feel like each room kind of symbolized something different or a different timeline, right? So we're walking around. Then I saw my friend from high school, Natalie. She was there, she's an Aquarius too. But what was weird about her is she was in a blonde wig. And the only thing that's weird about that is she's Brazilian, right? So she has hella long hair. I don't even think her hair can fit in a wig, but she had this like, weird wig on and i remember thinking like why would you wear that like your hair is so beautiful you know um but she was leaving one room and she was going into another room so i i peeped that so then i saw this door and i was like all right well i'm gonna go in that door <laughs> so i go in this door i open the door and there was like hella other doors there and then i was like oh no 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 i'm not gonna go in there yet and then i came back out and immediately of me coming out like all these people from my past were there so what that symbolizes for me to you guys is i feel like maybe in the past you had an opportunity maybe you knew you weren't ready for it quite yet or you knew that it was what going to require a lot of you i feel like all those doors symbolize different hats different roles different responsibilities different things that you have to do maybe this is a thing where it's like i don't want to take on those type of responsibilities yeah i'm not mentally there yet you know but i feel like whatever that shit is it's coming back around now okay so let me see if there's anything else that needs to be mentioned yeah, I think that's it. That's all that's important for you guys at this time, okay? So let's see, let's see what's going on. Um, we're gonna use these to clarify. I'm also hearing something begins and ends with a Scorpio. Maybe something begins and ends in Scorpio season. Maybe there's some type of, like all phases of Scorpio energy are gonna take place during Scorpio season, like death, sex, rebirth, you know, however, however way that comes through for you, you know? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot that you're about to come into. Shuffle for Virgo. I'm hearing with great power comes great responsibility. Shuffle for Virgo. I'm hearing Spider-Man. Yeah, and I'm seeing webs, like a bunch of new stories that are about to begin for you. Ten of coins, but it's all going to be so worth it. Ace of coins here. Beautiful. For some of you, you may have to kind of go somewhere to bring something back for your family. Shuffle for Virgo.
Ooh, the hermit and the queen of coins. Yeah, it's it's like you're being sick. Let me show you. I'm hearing once again with great power comes great responsibility. Here's your energy. You came out strong with the hermit. And like I said, there's something that you know you have to do. There's something, there's some type of quest. There's some type of voyage. You may want to watch the Libra reading. Um, you also have the higher font. And it's like at the end of this voyage, you receive this key. Some of you could be moving into a new home. So it's like, okay, you know, you have to do, you're putting things in order. I also see with the King of Wands here, it's like you're mapping certain things out. You know, it's like when you put the directions into the computer and then you print them out, you know, you're not in the car quite yet, but you're mapping everything out here. You're getting your rest, you're preparing and you're getting ready to go because I'm hearing something's about to come in it's talking about the next three days some of you gemini energy leo energy taurus energy could be significant to you at this time but let's see shuffle for virgo You're sandwiched in between the Ace of Cups with the King of Cups. I see, um, I'm seeing, I'm hearing Solace in a Scorpio Cancer Pisces masculine energy. And right underneath it is the Hermit once again. So you could be having um, a King of Cups coming to help you after some type of turmoil here. I'm getting like a rescue. Look at this helicopter right there. This also kind of reminds me of like, I'm seeing a family, maybe the head of household does something risky, you know, and hopefully not, but it's like something transpires with him. And now suddenly the mom has to kind of step up, step into this role, handle certain things, deal with people that she normally doesn't have to deal with. You know, he normally goes to get the keys. Now she's having to go like on this quest here to get the key. She's trying to remember like what he said or who he said. I don't know. There's just certain things that I feel like one person normally takes care of everything, but they're not here anymore for some reason. Hopefully not. Hopefully this person will come back or they'll make a return. But temporarily, I just see you having to kind of fill somebody's shoes or fill a role. It's so interesting. This is so interesting. Yeah, 888 is a tower moment. It's sudden. It's unexpected. It's not something that you can plan for. Y'all know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Death and transformation. <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say. Empress. It's like Spy Kids 1, you know? When Carmen and Junie suddenly realize, like, oh shit, we gotta go in this little thing. Our parents are spies. They're invading our house. We gotta get out of here. Suddenly, unexpected. We have to go to the safe house. Do you know? Do it's something like that. It's something like that. I will always find a way to circle it back there. Ay, ay, ay. Anything else? It's a journey. Watch the last Libra reading as well. So all the readings, I'll definitely link them below. I feel like they're connected. That Aries reading. Um, I watched a little bit of it before starting this, and I'm pretty sure it had some energy of what's going on worldwide in there as well. So that could also shed light on, you know, what energy started there and it's coming through and actually manifesting now. So the fool here. Let's move forward. Shuffle for Virgo. Hello again. Yeah, something coming full circle, something coming back around. 21 right there once again. So three days from today, you guys evil eye for some of you mm, hold on yeah yeah because going back to my dream it's like say i did decide to go through that door right so it's like if this door is reappearing once again hello again opportunity hello again you know 
chariot what the hello again it's coming back around and it's like you going through that door is the protection right so i feel like you're gonna get that opportunity on the 21st shuffle for virgo shuffle for virgo Mm, see and i was trying to see i was trying to see is it really like an emergency is it really like could could this be an email like hey virgo hey we know we sent you an offer in 2018 here's another one right maybe it's something as simple as that maybe it doesn't have to be so passing of the totemish but look with the number 13, death and transformation. And the firefly, it's like a sudden spark. You know, this is something that happens when you see the light of a firefly. It's like, it's fleeting, you know? It's something that just kind of happens quick. You have to catch it while you can. So same thing with this. Um, yeah, and even look, look someone's last like last wish their imprint you know something that you can do in remembrance of them set an alarm for 1 44 p.m yeah not hold on let me let me clarify oh can we lighten the mood really quick yo she can He's so cute. <laughs> anyway, back to business. Shuffle for Virgo. Uh, heavy. Say inheritance in the form of um, properties here for some of you. Okay, we're moving forward out of that energy here. So for others of you, I feel like you took a chance, you took a risk. I'm looking at her apple. She bit into it, right? And now it's like she's reaping the rewards from it. So for some of you, I feel like you're going to be really happy with some that going back to that firefly, you could have gotten a sudden idea, a sudden bur <laughs> burst of inspiration that you took a bit into. And I feel like it works out for you. Shuffle for Virgo. Yeah, we split on the 10 of coins right there. I'm also saying something controversial like i'm looking at all these cats in close proximity you know cats get to the fighting sometimes right but they're all peaceful so there could have been something that maybe you knew would maybe start a little bit of problems hopefully not or have the potential to but actually everybody's calm everybody's getting along you know you're pleasantly surprised in some way shuffle for virgo if this is for you I'm getting six days, six days from today. Yeah, Ace of Wands right there. Six days, Magician on top. Yep. Um, it could be, you could be collaborating or there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy that comes in on the 24th or six days from the day that you see this. And um, there's some type of a, I'm hearing allegiance, but I was hearing, I'm trying to say alliance with this person. okay okay interesting 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 now for some of you we we complete there's so much going on we miss a big part we didn't take note that both people that i mentioned both friends that popped up in my dream in that theater they were both aquarius right the oh with the star on the bottom of the deck didn't see that there and the fool all aquarius energy right so it's like you're going into your own door of newness some of you have very karmic contracts with aquarius right these two cards popped out after we were just talking about all this great energy and i'm like what is this what is this 
So I'm getting there's something that's been following you. This could be an energy. This could be a group of people. This could be a person. This could be a situation, but I there's literally something that's been following you, right? Following you, following you, following you. Maybe something's persisted many lifetimes, but as you go through that door, that is your protection. When that door closes, this can no longer follow you here, right? So whatever this like weird thing that's been plaguing you, I just keep hearing Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy. You need to look at either, either, well, look, you have number 17, the key. You need to look at where you have Aquarius in your chart, where you come into contact with other Aquariuses, you know, and that will be the key as to what that door is to get you out of those karmic contracts, you know, but whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be very, very noticeable um, after the 21st. But going into Scorpio season, like something begins, like something begins for you and ends for something else. It's the beginning for you and the ending of this energy of, I'm hearing the plague, like the plague. So whatever this is, Ten of Swords, it's a wrap. No present, no bows, just a wrap. <laughs> everybody offset, like everybody, yeah. Hold on, let me go back to this one really quick. Shuffle for Virgo. The moon. Maybe for some of you, this is something that's gone unnoticed, you know? Yeah. That is being healed now. Damn, yeah. We'll get on members a little bit later. Okay, let's move forward. So when I pulled these cards out, the first card that slipped out was Harmony 66. Harmony, balance being restored. We're also, today's the 18th breaking down into six three times and then you have phoenix also death rebirth transformation you can look forward to scorpio season for sure two more days two more days i'm hearing like withhold your i don't know what this means but like withhold your emotions like in two days it'll be safe for you to express i don't know what changes maybe you're changing environments or something like that but like two more days it's safe for you to express your emotions if that makes sense i'm hearing two all let me see let's shuffle Two, two days, you might have some type of friendship coming in. The next two, I'm hearing five days. Something about the 23rd could be significant. Shuffle for um, Virgo. The same cards came out. You have Phoenix, Rebirth here. You have Change and Travel that just came out. Um, inspiration here as well. I feel like that's in alignment with this friendship that came out as well. The Illusion is on the bottom of the deck. That's what's being dispelled here. That's where you're experiencing this rebirth, this change, this strength. So, yeah. And then you still have Harmony on top. Beautiful. Also, sorry to my friends if you're watching. It's all love. Sometimes people, spirit uses people as like context, you know? So you guys got to use honesty here. <laughs> but thank you. If you're watching, it's all love. Call me. Um, 
But honestly, I doubt they're watching because I don't think they're into tarot. But I just wanted to <laughs> put that out there. Like, oh, oh, she got no, 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 no. It's just spirit literally uses people as context. Like, spirit will have somebody who resembles somebody whom I know, who I'm, I know we're on good terms with, just so I'm aware of like what the energy is, what the sign is. You know, it's not always literally that person. Y'all use your discernment always. You know, moving forward. Mm. Shovel for Virgo. Hearing um, iridescent. Yeah, Earth energy. Yeah, it's like, ooh, you're so close. You're so close. Literally, like, two more days. Two, three more days. The 21st. Right now, we're in the energy of the vulture, right? So the energy is being cleared up. All the carcasses, all the dead, all the karmic, it's all being cleared out, right? The karmic in which is not serving you at this time. The old contracts that are no longer persisting at this time. That's what's being cleared out, right? Everybody's karmic to somebody. But you have the snake. I see the snake. It's like if this is all your cosmic life force, so to speak, the snake is almost all the way wrapped around. But in like two, three more days, it'll be fully sealed. And then you can step into this energy of the dolphin, water energy, happy expression, you know, lighthearted. But just just give it a little bit more time. It's it's closing in the gap is bridging yeah but there's a new story being created here there's a new seed being planted here and i feel like during scorpio season you're really going to enjoy yourself i just keep hearing that shuffle for virgo once again we split on death and transformation scorpio energy right there actually we're gonna end with this deck it begins and it ends with Scorpio energy, the fool on the bottom of the deck. I just felt like a cold tingle on the right side of my head. You have the queen of cups. Some of you, um, there's a Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming into your life romantically here. Ooh, with the king of coins, especially if you're a masculine energy. Or this could just take place during Scorpio season. It's a water month. Shuffle for Virgo. You still have this Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, hold on. For some of you, it's Gemini energy where the Seven of Swords is coming from. For, for some of you, it's people that are like interested in you romantically. Seven of Swords energy is coming from, which is weird. Hold on, Shuffle for Virgo. My head, every time the, every time a major arcana comes out, my head just like tingles all over. It's like my head is under cold water right now. But you have the chariot with the moon. It's like something initiates today. Start with that Aries reading between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. Something's coming, okay? Yeah, seven of cups. For some of you, this is your clarity. This is a warning. I'm hearing clarity. For some of you, I'm hearing 6 p.m. 6 p.m. for me would be 9 for you. So yeah, for some of you, I would set an alarm for 6 p.m. But definitely, please, please, before you even finish this reading, I would go start that Aries reading first. Because I feel like all the details and things that you need are in there. Ooh, and what's leaving, what fell on the floor is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords, heartbreak, betrayal. You know? feeling vulnerable in a way that isn't empowering. Let's just clarify before we get out of here. Shuffle for Virgo. Yeah, so you have you have a new beginning, Ace of Wands here. I'm also seeing this pen. You have new contracts coming in, new partnerships coming in. Like I said, to which a lot is given, a lot is expected, a lot is required. And I don't feel like 
I don't feel like this is anything that you're not gonna be unable to maintain you know and i feel like if you did not shift into this energy in this responsibility then you would remain in like a stagnant you have stalemate crossroads right here you know so you really have no choice but to go through the door definitely watch the libra readings about the red door you know the ones that i mentioned i'll link them below but yeah it's very very important an opportunity is here you have one shot do not miss your chance to blow don't chicken out don't psych yourself out. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is something that you've been working so long for. It's like going to SAT prep every weekend for a year. And then the SAT comes along and you're like, oh, no, I'm just going to stay in bed. Like, I'm sick. I don't want to do it. Like, no, you have been working for this. Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. You better go take that test. Star. Yeah. You can't fail. I'm hearing you can't fail. 17 17 and i also feel like even if it's like hold on let me see shuffle for virgo i'm seeing the door as like a vacuum or like the black hole in space it's like i'm seeing you try to shut the door back and you just get like sucked into the hole <laughs> yeah <laughs> So you really don't have a choice. I'm hearing it's not an option. Eight of cups and the eight of wands. So say goodbye to things as you know them right now because they are subject and due to change. Like very quickly, very, very. I'm hearing momentarily. I'm hearing elevator music. I'm seeing the guides. It's like they initiated whatever this is. And now they're just like waiting for the hangman. They're just waiting for it to come through, you know? So I'm seeing it's like spiritually, there's just elevator music and then something's just gonna, it's just gonna hit. Yeah. Page of swords, page of coins. And now you're in a new story. Now you're starting from ground zero and you're building up. So this is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be really exciting. This is gonna be uncomfortable. But like I said, it's either you stay where you've been, where you are, what you've been doing, or you try something new. You go through those doors and you see what all those other doors are about, you know? Because all the prayers that you've had over your life, what if behind each one of those doors is one prayer answered? But you just saw a whole bunch of doors and you just like got scared and you were just like, no, not <laughs> I don't even want to know, you know, so don't run from what you've asked for. Don't run from your blessings because I really feel like they're here for the taking for you, Virgo. So God bless. That is all I have for you. Um, take what you can, leave what you don't want, and I'll see you next time.